Okay, so hello everyone. Uh, in today's repair, we have this fantastic Nikkor uh, 2870 millimeters, which is uh, an underrated lens. It is found really, really, really cheap on the internet. I'm speaking about 60 to 80 dollars. Uh, and then uh, the particularity of this lens is that it was the first non professional Nikkor in having an aspherical element. So, and then this happens in the middle of the 90s, I think. Okay, so all that to say that this lens is really, really good. Well, not this one, because this one has a problem. Well, first the, uh, the contacts are, are loose, I think. And then second thing is, uh, I think the focusing, yeah, you see, goes completely nuts with the focusing and then this happens uh, yeah below 50 so uh, what we're going to do is to open the lens and then take a look at it uh, to see what it's going on and then uh, to see if we can repair it so I'll stop the video for a few seconds and then I come back. Okay, I am back. I have my tools now, uh, which is a G screwdriver, some tweezers that I had before, and well, that's pretty much it. So, um, to start, uh, to start this symbol, we start by removing this plastic part here. Let me get the illumination a bit closer. And this is disassembled by removing three screws, which I'm removing just now. then there's a fourth screw here which you just only need to get loose a bit and then you just pull on this part here which comes out this is rather easy then and you need to remove the, the screws here on the, on the electronics assembly and not the electronics assembly, I mean uh, the connector uh, because if you forget to remove them and then you remove the bayonet and by accident you pull on the on the ribbon cable and you snap it uh, your lens will be will become permanently manual so uh, don't forget that Okay, so I have the connectors loose. Now I remove the bayonet. So, three screws here. Okay, and just as I recall, uh, I think the problem is electronics, some contact or something. So, I pull the bayonet here, so this was rather quick, then I can remove the aperture ring here, then I remove this small element which is the gear for the focusing. And then uh, I reach the connection so I have the the connection pins here I have uh, the ribbon cable here it goes down it becomes the encoder here which is this element that you can see here and put some illumination okay so it's that element here let me zoom probably a bit Okay, so that's the encoder, and then there is something else behind, 
but uh, right now I cannot tell what it is probably a chip or something um, but then just by inspecting already this encoder uh, here as you can see uh, there is already one problem and then is that uh, as you can see the, the encoder is a bit uh, in, in diagonal uh, and then in this track this not this track this element here is completely out of the track at this position and then uh, the other thing I see is that uh, it is uh, this pin here as well it's a bit bended so um, this might probably be the problem since it is uh, already something uh, unusual in the lens so uh, what I'm trying to do uh, let me put this just closer for you to see uh, I raise my my lights so then let me put this now I focus uh, okay you see the encoder is sideways I don't know if this is uh, intended uh, and then the other thing uh, I hope you can see here okay I okay here you have it uh, the the pins the first one is bended as you can see it here so uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this element okay I am back uh, as you can see uh, this is the element that it removed and then as you can see uh, the pin is completely bended and then uh, while removing it I noticed something else and then this is that uh, here oh, this is okay doing this macro shots is not easy okay here uh, illumination is a bit powerful let me try to arrange that okay so as you can see uh, I'm going to move the lens okay yes as you can see here uh, that element is uh, uh, the thing which is moving is the element uh, to which the pins are mounted on and then is the the key uh, connecting the the outer ring to the interior of the lens so it moves so and then uh, it's not super easy to see but uh, you see that the, that the paper that encoder is a bit bended because it's touching this element so I think uh, the fact that the that the encoder is uh, is in this uh, uh, oblique configuration is not right, so I will try to to remove it. Uh, here, okay, and then I stick it uh, again uh, straight. Oh, okay. So uh, here I am back to the light uh, let me increase the power of my lamp okay so how would you see what I'm doing I'm just using the tweezers just to uh,
to remove it because it's, uh, it's glued here and then the rest is uh, okay yeah okay that was easy I just uh, this ticket for uh, for a few seconds and then um, and then I was able to move it in position so that was easy now I, I'm going to reform this part here it's not very easy to see but I'll that light so uh, I'm going to to reform it and then we reassemble the lens and then we check if uh, this is ended the problem So uh, I am back. I I made two things. So first, uh, I made this part uh, straight again. Well, not straight, but uh, I gave it uh, the shape it should have. So I did it this uh, by going just very nicely with the tweezers. It was rather quick. And then the other thing I did was to. Let me show you. I put the track straight again as I started uh, before with the tweezers. I remove the glue. Well, I raise the track out of the glue and then I pull it all the way up. So now it is straight. And then I put this tape here. Very strong tape. Just to make sure it's not going to slide again. Well, at least is this is what I hope. Um, but then uh, I think uh, this is the problem. Um, so I'm going to put this part, uh, and then I come back uh, for the assembly. Well, I, I don't I don't think I even show, need you to to show you the assembly, the reassembly, because it's rather uh, simple. Uh, so. I will reassemble and then I just come back uh, for to show you that this is probably the fix. So hello everyone, I reassembled the lens, tested it, uh, and so that was the problem, uh, aligning the encoder, aligning the part uh, which connects uh, the, the signals um, work. Now the focus is uh, very precise. So at any distance. So this is really, really, really nice. So as you can see it. So if you had this problem and now you know the solution, now you have seen how to open this lens. So I uh, hope you enjoy it and see you next time.